So we're going to head into town to Christopher's for breakfast, right on Great Yarmouth Seafront. Cool, Helen. Pull away fast, why don't you? That won't. Blimey. Look out for the cops. Right, so we're just heading into town now, down the seafront. All looking good. Look at these bowling greens, like, like a snicker table. <laughs> there they come. Mid-March and the town is starting to come to life a little bit, like the old uh, Little trains on the seafront again. I'll be busy now till the end of October. Come on, Bell. Come on, Bell, Bell. <laughs> That's our local cinema. I've not been in it since it's been the Ark, have we? And all the guest houses, pubs, restaurants, and bars, of which there are hundreds and hundreds of them. Uh, start really here, the Golden Mile starts here anyway. Runs all the way down past the uh, the big wheel that you can probably see in the distance. Britannia Pier, where you can see all your summer shows. So just outside of the Britannia Pier, here's some of the shows, the sort of thing you can expect to see at the pier. They do, do some really good end of pier shows. There used to be years ago like the traditional uh, seasonal shows that now tend to be more like one-nighters or a couple of three different dates. So we've got the Supreme Queen live in concert, the Elvis World Tour. <laughs> that's going to be an interesting one. I wonder what that's going to be like. Won't be the real Elvis, will it, Helen? No, I doubt it. Jim Davidson, Jimmy Carr, Shawadi Wadi. We saw them a few years ago here. They were absolutely brilliant. And, and live in concert, Roy Chubby Brown, absolutely I know he's filthy, but he's really, really funny. I think I've seen him about six times now. Um, I've got a photograph here. I might pop a little photograph of me and him up. Uh, King of Pop Legends, uh, Michael Jackson and Sarah Millican, to name but a few. So, uh, yeah, it's a great little entertainment centre. In fact, it's nothing little about it. It's rather large. And it looks like Jim Davidson's coming back. Jim Davidson's coming back. Yeah, I think he used to do a season here once upon a time, didn't he? Yeah, but this is uh, to raise money for the life book. Oh, the gala charity evening. Yeah, so yeah, a little look at that. Oh, yes, Jim Davidson and Bobby Davro. And we're heading here to Christopher's for breakfast. And Helen said, you're not having a full English. I bet you I am. <laughs> hey, look at that, free wave. We get everything here. <laughs> Come on, Juju, let's go get some breakfast. We like this because it's dog friendly. Scrambled egg, toast, maybe a sausage. Bacon. Oh, have you? Yeah, well, you asked me to. Did I? Yeah, I and mushrooms. I, you didn't ask for the mushrooms, but last time I, you stole mine, so I'm not having I it. I stole half of one and you nearly cried. I did. I don't like sharing my food, it's I what I don't do. No, you don't. So I've gone for, I've gone for a breakfast uh, with an addition of uh, white pudding. So. Oh, you should have got me a bit. No, no, you've got enough. I could have had a bit back. Well, you're not having any of my black pudding. I'm having half. You're not. Well, you'll have to go and order me. I'm not ordering you any. Order it yourself. Ah, so Helen's got her rather healthy looking breakfast, actually. Well, I don't know about that. Doesn't look too bad. And then uh, equally as healthy. Well, I don't know about that either. No, anyway, either. let's give it some. It's not exactly half, but I am impressed that you shared any with me. <laughs> 
That looks like half to me. Is my half? <laughs> it's your half. Oh yeah. So a further view down the Golden Mile for you. Lovely bright day. Joyland not open yet. Great little uh, play area for the kids there. And then over here on my left, well there's Christopher's where we've just had a beautiful breakfast. And then over here, Regent Road. You can hear the burglar alarms going off, they're not being robbed. Everyone's trying to get their shops ready for the forthcoming season, that's what that's all about. But it's a great walk up there, you can buy everything and anything. All your beachwear, lots of bars again and restaurants, you know, burger bars, ice cream places, fish and chips, um, souvenirs. And that runs all the way to the top there and that uh, then gets you more or less towards a Great Yarmouth Marketplace. Marketplace, not what it was. I suppose like most of them these days, it's um, lots of out of town shopping and all the shops that used to be in the marketplace, they kind of all moved. We're walking back to the car. There's the pub on the prom and the prom hotel. Also get a nice meal in there. So we're going to head back home and we're going to slip into our new Fitville shoes and give them a try. We'll go for a walk through the Haven Holiday Park, which is very close to where we live. And we'll go onto the beach itself and uh, we'll give you the review. Now the thing about them here is, if you like what you see, we'll have a code for you to buy the shoes with a 30% discount. So we're going walkies. We're going walkies, yes. Um, time's come to have a look at these trainers. Um, they're called Fitbill and they've got a lot of um, bonus properties, I suppose, is it? Yeah, I suppose it is. Um, I used to work in Edinburgh in a um, shawl or skull, however you want to say it, and I used to use a lot of foot aids, you know, because feet are quite important, aren't they? So it'd be quite interesting to see if these are good. Um, the ten top ten problems of feet most common are flat feet, plantar fasciitis, fasci fasciitis <laughs> <laughs> which Dave has, heel spurs, which I think he might have as well, hammer toe and mallet toe. I've not got that. <laughs> What's a hammer toe? You haven't toe? got them all. No. Corns and calluses, nope. blisters, ingrown toenails, balls of the foot pain, and there's another one there which I'm not even going to attempt to see. Uh, that's peripheral neuropathy. Neuro <laughs> Hang on, it's peripheral neuropathy. Neuropathy, something like that. Yeah. So these trainers, you can get all sorts of shoes from them. Mm -hmm. Um, are supposed to help with these things. They also say some of the ways to to help your feet is a nightly hot foot bath before bed, regular foot massage to get all the fluids moving, and scrubbing the heel with pumice stone. Mm. Stretching and strengthening, pedicures and hot stone. So where are you getting all this info from anyway? From this little booklet that they send for you. And there's also the benefits of these shoes. There's a wide toe box, heel ring, shop absorbing pad, dual density sole and anti-skid rubber. That's cool. So... I wish I'd worn those in that race we did last year. I might have won. <laughs> I think they're an American company. I think they are American. Yes. What I'll do, I'll flash up a few little screenshots of the booklet and some of the benefits of the shoes so you can see for yourself. You can pause the video and read it if you want to. Mm. So what, what did you choose, Helen? So in here, I, I didn't actually realise my research was, was rubbish. Oh I actually picked a tennis shoe. This, this and you is... can't play tennis, can you? Well, I can play tennis, but I won't be playing it today. It's a bit windy. So um, they're a little bit heavier than I usually go for. Uh -huh. um, I have the Morels, um, which I absolutely love, and I wear them for walks. You said it's like wearing a glove on your foot when you it put those Morels on. Morels I've got my Morels, good. and nothing wrong with Morels, but I can't get comfortable in them at no, all. No, you don't like them, do you? Same with the Nike Airs. I've got those, and I can't get comfy in them. Yeah. Um, they're nice and soft, 
and they're quite spongy on the sole. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see. Did you go for the wide fit or not? I don't think... No, I don't think it's a wide. No. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, Bella's come to see what these shoes are all about <laughs> and wonders where hers are. Actually, she's not. She's wondering how much longer you're going to be. She wants to go for a walk. She wants to go for a walk. Sure. We're going to go for a walk. We're going to give these shoes a good, a good going over. So let's have a little look from the side. Still got a label on, Hell. Yeah, I'll take that off in a minute. Yeah. Are they a good fit? They seem to be quite a good fit. Yeah. Comfy? At the moment, yeah. Proof of the pudding will be in the eating. Yeah. Two, they look pretty smart. I do like them. Yeah. Let's give them a whirl. Give them a whirl. Let me get mine. Yeah. Now, I've chose lace-ups. I do like slip-on shoes, but I chose these because I thought these might be a, a good alternative. So they're well boxed, aren't they? Mm -hmm. All the things you were talking about in terms of the supports, the spongy heel, arch supports, these have got arch and heel supports in them, so look good. So yeah, first impressions are good. Nice fit. See where I tend to get pain is in the heel because of this, um, what's it called again? Plantar, Plantar fasciitis. Yes. So I get a lot of heel pain. Uh, during the walks and, and especially after so I'm interested to see how it works with that also over the years in my work I've uh, spent a lot of time walking around the streets of some of the big cities you know London Manchester Glasgow Edinburgh and literally walk miles and miles around cities you know during the day and at night time after well indeed the next morning can hardly walk this is terrible so we'll see Right, so just slide that one on. A really nice close up of my Fitville tongue there, like just uh, <laughs> That is the lace doing that, by the way. In case you're thinking, mm. I've got tummy trouble. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> so he says. I haven't. Right. So a bit like yourself, first impression's good. Mm -hmm. Comfy. Get a close up of those, Hell. Or I'll fall over. They're quite soft, they're really roomy, they don't slip at the heel. Yeah. And I quite like them, yeah. Very white looking, look like you've just turned up on your holidays. I know. You know when you get the uh, new trainers out of your case? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty quiet on here at the moment, it's still only not quite mid March. And, uh, well, I was down here being DJ Dave, wasn't I, for the yeah. opening weekend. So that was a good, a good sort of weekend, nice and busy. But now it's gone quiet again. The kids, when they're off school, this place gets pretty rammed, to be honest. And over there is Lauren from the Ents team. What are you doing? You're doing what? Uh, other than that, just getting ready for Saturday. You're going to be in my video now. Oh, amazing. Hold on. That's better. What are you videoing? We're doing a bit of caravantastic YouTube here, look. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Welcome you're to Taster. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> this is Lauren, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Lauren, what do you do here? Uh, I'm the owner's events coordinator, and I'm also the person who blocks the road. So I've got to go. Bye. 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 <laughs> Fish and shoot shop when it's open, very tasty. Again, nice and handy for us. There she goes.
Still quite breezy, huh? It's a little windy, but not as bad as yesterday. No. We've put off, um, gone away for a few days, twice now. We're hoping to get away at the end of the week. Yeah, they keep telling us it's going to be windy, which it is a little bit windy. But it's going to be raining, sleeting, snowing. So we've cancelled a couple of trips based on the weather forecast. I'm glad we haven't gone out in the wind though. It's the wind. Don't like towing yeah. too much in high winds. So where are we going to go? Well, it's a toss up between two sites. Uh, one is Ferry Meadows at Peterborough, yeah. which we haven't been to yet. I mean, I think it's about two and a half hours, isn't it, from here? Yeah, about that. Yeah, and it's it's got a lake and a park and the and the trains, I believe, run Steam trains. There. Yeah, the Neen Valley Railway is very close. And I'd like to have a look at the, the cathedral. Yeah. Um, and the other one is just up the coast there at Munsley, not Mundersley, Munsley, <laughs> um, in Norfolk, uh, on the cliff top. Sandy Gulls. Sandy Gulls. Yeah, that's a, a favourite of the Frenchies motorhomies and also um, caravanning with the missus like to go yeah, there. Yeah. We've been before, but before we really started doing the channel properly, so we haven't filmed anything from there before, have we? The wind was a bit bad when we went. It well, was, yeah, it? and it was rather wet. So. so we might try and get in there or Ferry Meadows very soon. So, I've got to tell you, and I'm not just saying it because we were gifted these <laughs> shoes, they really are comfy. You know what I like? I don't know if you're going to see it. Can you have a little, see if you can get the camera on me here, Hal. I'm going to hand this over to you. So, what I particularly like, Bell Bell, <laughs> what I like is the heel for a start because it comes right up high. And I think the problem that I've had with the other shoes is the heel seems to finish about here. Uh, and therefore, I keep getting a bit of rubbing sometimes on the heel. This comes up high, it's really cushioned, look, and it sort of curves around, so my heel fits in there really comfy. And I've got protection all the way around here. These um, soles are everything they say they are. They're really, really spongy. It's like walking like on a mattress, you know, on air. It's really, really comfy. And it, honestly, I'm not just saying that. We've got, they gave us the shoes anyway, so I don't have to say good things, but I'm saying what I really feel. This is really supportive for my heels. They're really spongy. So the first impression is really good. I think the tide is coming in, yeah? We're quite lucky, aren't we, living where we live? Yes. Folks, we are literally a five minute walk from our, our house. And then we're down here, right on the beach. Bella. Bella's favorite walk, really. Yep. And we tend to come onto the beach, hang right, which is walking south, because we're on the east coast at Norfolk and walk into the village of Kesa, don't we? Yeah. Oh, what have we got at the pub? We go to the old hall, which is a nice little eating and drinking house. Yes. And then walk up. Good place to get afternoon tea or coffee or even a ghost ship. Quite pleasant to be actually. The good thing is down here, there's no, just no wind down here, is it? It's so sheltered here. So it's much better. Let me just face you forward for a second. That's the view ahead. Pretty good. Right, Helen, we've got a quiz question for you. The structure that we're approaching on the beach now, look, this little zigzag, bunch of, looks like scrap metal. <laughs> What's it called? I think they're called groins. A groin. You've often wanted to kick one of these, you've told me. Or was it my groin? Something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, this is a groin. The idea of the groin is to break up the waves. So where are they going then? You're heading up the way, are you? Yeah. Okay. I don't know about you, but after a walk like that, it was a bit blustery. Need one of these. Yeah, a small red. Pint of Adnum's ghost ship. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah, I cheese. What I mean? <laughs> That's just so typical. Good walk. Great day. So we're just in our local now, which is the uh, the old hall, Branford's restaurant. We can make quite a bit, don't we? Yeah. So, I say quite a bit, we don't go out a lot. <laughs> when we do, we come here, that's what I mean to say. We have, we have parties here and different things, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. So, we're thinking we might get away 
yeah. this coming weekend? Yeah, Saturday. We're having a little bit of work done on the caravan Friday. Yeah. And then we'll go Saturday, I think, till Monday. <coughs> Excuse me. Because Bella's got a haircut Tuesday. Yeah. So we'll do the big reveal in terms of the work on the caravan. If you're wondering what that's all about, we will uh, we'll reveal that. Yeah. Next, next video, I think, with a bit of luck. As far as the shoes are concerned, scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being outstanding and 1 being why bother sending them. Um, it's got to be a good 8.5 for 9 for me. I think 8. Yeah. An 8 for you? Yeah. Yeah, really comfy. And I think I would definitely make these my go to walking shoes from here on in, I think. Uh -huh. yeah. My morels have still got the balance for me. Um, really? Yes. Uh, mind you, the, the price you pay for them, they need to. Well, yes, these are nearly half the, half the cost, yeah. so you'd expect that, I suppose. But they're still very good, yeah. comfortable walking shoes. They are good. I'll put some links below to the Fitville website and also a link to a code that will give you 30% off. If you want to buy some Fitville shoes, um, there's a special um, Cara 30, which will give you 30% off. So use that link below. And um, we'll catch you in our next video. Yeah, see you soon. Laters. Bye bye. Bye now.